Hi everyone, so in this video I'll show you how to implement a read more, read less button in React.js. Let's do that right away. So right now we have this simple text here. If I click on read more, we're able to read more of the text. If I click on read less, we're able to see a lesser version of the characters you get. So right now I'll show you how this is being done in React. So let's do that right away. So right here I have my command prompt. So I'm going to simply create a new React project now in my documents directory. So see the documents. <clears throat> okay, once I'm there, I'll create a new directory. I'm going to call, call this expandable, 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 expandable. So once I've done this now, I'm so good. In, so I'm going to go into that directory, expandable. Okay, so once I've done this. I'll then create a React application using Vit. So I'll say npm create Vit. Enter. So right now it's asking for my project's name. So I'm, I will simply say, let's just say expand. What's happening? Let's clear those text. Okay. I'm going to simply just say read more. Read more. Should be, I'm going to call it read more. Okay. Enter. So we are using react enter javascript what we are using enter so for so after we've done this now we are going to go we're going to go into the directory called read more cd read underscore more that's the name of our react application you get so read more then so once you've done this now we are going to install all the dependencies for our project so we're going to say npm install enter so this is going to simply install all the requirements for this react application you understand so before you can use npm you must make sure you have node.js installed on your computer make sure you have node installed on your computer okay so once it's done we are going to open our current directory on vs code so run the command just say code and then you should show code here what's happening code then dot so you can open this directory on VS Code. So enter. Okay, so right now our pro right now we have VS Code open. And we also have our project opened on VS Code. So click on new click on terminal, then new terminal. So you need to run the server. So, so it's coming up. Okay, so right now we need to run the server. So say npm run dev. npm run dev so enter so right now just hold down command or control on your computer and then click on this link so let's click on it's going to simply open this link on your browser instead so okay so it's coming up okay so see what we have here okay now we have our react projects created successfully so what we need to do now is simple go down to your page now so we are going to create a new component so, we are going to, so instead of my source folder i'll create a folder called components or i can just come over here and just create a new file called expandable 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 yeah dot jxx so enter okay right now we just made a new file now so in this file i want to create a jxx template so to do that quickly I'm going to use a React snippet for it. And the snippet is called R A F C E. So and then just press and enter on your keyboard. It's going to simply create this template for you. So how do you get this command to work? The R A F C E. Go down to your extension panel, instead, and then search for. You search for EX7. So that what you need to search for. So I think I'm wrong. So EX, not that X I did there, and then seven. So you see this third, you see this, what's it called? This third item, is it this? Let me be sure. Okay, I think that's not it. So if you see this, okay, you see this um, extension called EX7 Plus, then we have React, then Redux, React Native Snippet. So this exact one, look at the name, is different from this one I clicked the first time. So this, you see this fourth item, the fourth extension, that includes React, Redux, and React Native. So you'll simply install this extension and you're going to simply have these React snippets working on your VS Code instead. So once you've done this already, 
So what is left now? So I'll simply import this file into the app.jxs. That's our base template. So we have this default um, code here. So I'll simply remove them. We don't need, we don't need them anymore. So if I start starting from here, I'll remove these guys. Okay, now I'll clear this state. We don't need it again. Okay, so over here, I'll simply import the expandable components. Expandable. So and we have it here okay so i need it to be closed like this okay yes so here now i'll simply pass in my lorem ipsum lorem ipsum text what we had here oh it's gone okay let's continue so i'll pass in my text here lorem, the lorem ipsum i'll just say lorem 100 lorem and then 100 so enter so now we have a, we have some sets of lorem ipsum characters here so just say ctrl x and it's, and it is formatted for me because i already have because i have prettier installed on my computer that's why it's, that's why it's been able to format like this so, so i've done this now what was the next step so i'll simply pass this as a prop to this expandable components you get so go down to the expandable components i'll pass that as a prop and we call this children something like this is called the children you get so come over here and i'll pass as a prop here let's call children okay so once i've done that now i'll bring it over here now so you can see currently we have an expandable on the page i'll just simply pass these children inside here and let's see what we have so we have this text so we can see what we have now perfect so what we want to do now is this we want to make sure that we are able to like be able to read more or read less you get so right now i want to simply return like 10 characters of this okay so right now i'll pass another prop here and i'll call it max characters max check max characters rather so and i'll give the value i'll just miss it 10 over there so if we check closely this is not coming from the parent elements it's simply being passed here but it's fine so this is there now so i'm going to simply come down to this section and i write an if statement there and i'll simply say if children remember children is this children is what we have this this is the children so this appeared but let's continue so i'll say if children dot length is less than or equal to max characters so if this control z I should not be there. I said less than or equal to max characters. So if the length of these children, length the, the children is referring to what with this lorem ipsum text. You understand? This is the children that we passed as a prop to the expandable component, right? So right now I'm saying if these children of length is less than the max characters, I want to simply return. I want to return the children itself. You understand? I'll use a p tag there. With some children, understand? So that's it. But if the children is greater than the mass characters I passed here, I want to simply slice down that children to fit the length of that mass characters. You understand? So let's do that now. So now just come down here and say, okay. Let me just say, children dot substring children dot dot substring and i'll start from zero down to max ca characters in the stand so and i'll pass this to a variable and i'll say let text equal to this and i'll pass this text into maybe down here and let's see what we have so right now we simply have 10 characters if i pass if i change this to 50 we have just 50 characters on the page 50 characters let's see we have just 50 characters if i keep increasing so i'm just changing this to 100 we have 100 characters on the page all right now i want to show our button i want to add the button right so let's continue so just under here now i'll add the button okay now simply just so this button value is going to simply i think there's a problem okay i get where the problem is coming from so what i need to do 
I'll say put this into a fragment so let's do that and then so I need to make this a paragraph tag not a div okay so once that is done okay now so right now I want to either show read more or read less in this button so I'm going to simply create a state for that and I'll say let's expanded so let's expanded expanded and I'll say use so yeah I'll say set expanded okay once I've done that I'll simply just say use states so this, this is states hook and then I'll set that to true okay so what I want to do is this so I'll simply just write an if statement here and I'll simply just say expanded if expanded is true expanded expand can't spell expanded if expanded is true we want to simply return read more else want to return read less read less so let's see what we have on the screen oh it disappeared if you check closely our browser is empty, nothing is showing, but I think I know the problem. So it's also import use state on top. I think from here. So we'll just come over here, put in a coily braces and say we'll say use states. Okay. I hope it's oh I need to show my server. Is that the course? Let's try. Let's terminal, new terminal, and let's run server. Okay, my server is up and running. So the browser now you can see we have read more over here. So once you read more, right? So I'll just simply come down here and add three dots. Understand? So let's see. I should update the page. Am I doing this correctly? So I think it should be inside if I'm not wrong. So let's see if it's okay. Now we have the dot there. So once again, I want to change the value of this button. Whenever we click on this, I want to change the value of the button. Whenever we click on this button, so let's go on. So I had an on click. Sorry, the dot is meant to be outside and not inside the parentheses. So it should be outside. So let's see again. So we have that there. Our button is now clickable. So right now I want to simply add. I want to be able to like change the value of this button from read more to read less, read more and read less. So let's do that right away. So just here now, I'll simply put on I'll add an event and unclick event to this button. I'll say unclick. So I'll simply change the value of expandable. So I'll return an arrow function there. And then once I've done this, I'll just come here and say set expandable. So I'll simply negate expandable in a stand. So whenever I click on it, it's simply negate expandable. So we're gonna say expand expand expanded rather. So right now I simply negate and expand it. Whenever I click on the button, this variable is being negated. So let's see how it goes now. So click. You can see we have read less, read more, read less, read more, read less. So what's left now? We want to simply work on this text itself. Whenever I click on read more, we should be able to see. Whenever we have read more, that means we have less characters. Whenever we have read less, that means we have all the characters in the stand. So let's go let's simply make this work so just up here in this children aspect here so we're going to have a we're going to have an if statement here so i'll just come here and say expanded if i'm right expanded so i'm simply saying if expanded is true i want to simply return the short version of the characters this the the um, the sliced version of the characters if expanded is true I'm gonna simply have the the sliced version of the characters. If it is false, I'm gonna simply have all the characters. So let's see if it works. To so the browser. Okay, now you can see we have read less. If I click on read less right now, we're gonna see less characters. You can see if I click on read more, you can see we have more characters to read. Instead of read less, read more, it's working. So if I come over here now to our app.gsx and my right, so yeah, 
and if I simply reduce this to like three characters, let's see, just two characters to the browser, because we only have these characters over here. We don't want the read more bots in there. Let me just come down here and choose it. Okay, now if we back again, you can you can read less, you can read more. So let me just simply summarize everything. So first of all, we made our expandable components understand after i did that we had to import it into the base component which is which is app.jxx so which is this so right now we have to pass a prop from this parent from this parent component down to the child components understand which we did and we had to assess that prop using this children it's called it is called children whenever you pass a prop in this format it's called children so we have to assess that here Call children. So what we did then, we had to now set our maximum characters over here. You understand? So I set I set that to 100. You understand? If I make this 50 right now, 50, we should see less characters on the page. You can see we have less characters. This is 50 characters. If I say click on read more, read less. You understand? So if I change that here, if I make it back to 100, we're gonna have more characters to read again. So read more, read less. So what I did now is I simply just add to now. I wrote an if statement saying if children dot length. I mean, see the length of this. If the length of this is lesser than this, what we have here, I want to simply return the whole of this. You understand? So if not, if if children dot length is greater than what we have here, I want to simply slice through starting from zero down to 100 then i'll get my children so i'll get these characters just starting from the index zero down to whatever number i have here you understand so for the button here if exponent is true i want to show read more and if explain is false i want to show read less the same thing i did here if explain is true i want to be able to return the sh the sliced version of the text and if, and if explained is false, I want to be able to show all the text. So that was it. There is super simple to do. So that was how to rebuild a read more, read less button in React.js. So we'll see in the next video. So do well to subscribe. Stay blessed and bye bye.